I come to work every day because I want to make a difference. I'm here every day because the kids need me. I come to work every day because I love kids. I love being around them. I love making them smile. I love going out on the playground and playing tag with them. I love making kids happy, and that's why I'm here every day. I started out in nursing. I really wanted to help out in my community. Um, I decided quickly that that wasn't for me, but I still wanted to find a job that I could help out, help others, and just be involved. So I decided I really like kids, and I started to school for teaching, and I really enjoy it. The children make me happy. I enjoy being here every day. A student that stands out to me um, my first year at Metter Elementary School, um, I had a student in a third grade classroom and he was a really big kid, he was way bigger than me. And um, he really taught me a lot about being patient and um, just taking my time and I really learned how fun it is from him to see a kid be successful and to figure out um, what makes them happy and what makes them learn. My message would be that we are here not only to teach children, but to love them. We cannot teach children until they trust us. Trust comes with a bond and respect. Without this, you can expect children to learn very little from you. Children are not perfect. Sometimes the ones that need us the most are the hardest to get through to. Be a role model. Live the way you would want your children to live. Guide them to good decisions by being a part of their lives. Teach our children to take chances and to be brave and positive when faced with challenges. Let them know that the expectations are high, but you are there for love, support, and comfort. Be willing to love these kids and fight for them. They deserve it. They deserve someone who will give them their all. Miss Miranda Thigpen should be Canla County's Teacher of the Year because she exhibits many of the characteristics of highly effective teachers. For example, she has great respect for her students. She has a great community in her classroom and all of the students feel as if they belong. And to be quite frank, students really don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. She also has high expectations for all of her students. She has a love for learning herself. And one of my favorite things that Miss Miranda exhibits is innovation. You could go into her classroom on any given day and see students on devices, working in small groups, scanning codes to go to different lessons, working on their Google Classroom. I've even had some of her students to email me presentations that they've created in their classroom. Miss Miranda Thigpen would represent Candler County very well as the teacher of the year. I see myself teaching. Um, I don't see myself leaving the classroom. I really enjoy being around the kids. I really enjoy um, being in the classroom and I want to stay in the classroom. My grandfather called me and said that he had had a dream that God told him that I was to be a teacher. I said, well, that's interesting because he didn't say anything to me about it. But then he said, I'm going to pay for it. And I said, I hear the calling. But um, my passion didn't start for the children and teaching until after I had been teaching for a couple of years and I had my own child. And then when I had my son, Brandon, then I realized that it was an important endeavor, and I realized that each child that I was teaching was somebody's Brandon, and that's where the, my passion really started to grow, and I attempted to be as effective as humanly possible, so that's how I got started. Since I've been a teacher, I'd have to say uh, my, some of my college professors, I had a professor, Stan Doyle, who's passed away. He, at Palm Beach Atlantic University, was a very good mentor for me, and I patterned a lot of what I teach about music after the way that he taught. And other than that, I'd have to go back to when I was in school, I had a teacher, her last name was Givens, Miss Givens in middle school, and more than just what she taught, 
probably, or the way she talked, was the fact that I knew she cared. And I always remembered that. When I think of Ralph Carlisle, he is somebody that just a year or so ago didn't know he had musical talent. And since uh, we have experienced music together in this room, he has blossomed. He can play the drums, he can play the steel drums, the keyboards, uh, just about anything he picks up, he's able to master quickly. And so that to me is, is what energizes me and, and invigorates me to, to do what I do because seeing that kind of growth, seeing the wow moments, the aha, I got it, uh, it really inspires me. Manor Intermediate School is blessed to have Mr. Charles Van Dersen on our staff. You've always heard that some people are really gifted at playing the piano and some people can just play the piano. Well, Mr. Charles is gifted not only in playing the piano but in also teaching music. Everything from acoustical guitar to rhythm sticks, Mr. Charles exposes our children to musical instruments, music theory, and music in technology on a daily basis. He has two after-school clubs, one pre-band and one choral. He participates in parades with his students. He has a take-home ukulele program with his students. He works very closely with the middle school music teacher and the high school band teacher. Mr. Charles is growing musicians in Candler County. I plan to stay in Candler County till I retire and I'm 53, so I imagine uh, it'll be another 10 or 12 years. Uh, as far as my goals with the students, I have a vision of uh, seeing students start their own musical bands and groups. I'd like to see in the next few years some of these elementary kids getting into middle and high school and forming groups together. I would like to see or hear of uh, recording studios wanting to move to Metter and start a business here wanting to record some of these kids that are being able to write music and perform. Um, I have a grand vision of being able to take large groups of students to places like Universal Studios or Disney World to perform and uh, let the world know that great things are happening here in Matter. I was born to be a teacher from the time that I could read, write, I would line all of my bears up and I would pretend that they were my students. I used to beg my teachers for extra work so that I could go home and pretend like my teddy bears and baby dolls were my students. And then the older I got, I found inspiration in the teachers that taught me and it was sometimes tough growing up, I had an interesting childhood in Mississippi and I had a few teachers that were very uh, important in showing me that there was so much more out there than just the things around me. And so I wanted to be like them, so I became a teacher. Probably my favorite teacher of all time is a lady named Miss Chance. I think she was 100 years old when she taught me. She taught me three different times, um, second grade, fourth grade, and sixth grade. And Miss Chance was just always one of those people who would be there and pat you on the back, but at the same time, call you on your crap and make you get on the ball and do your work. Um, never forget her. She always rewarded us with Reese Cups. Um, she was a math teacher. Excellent, excellent person. I feel like that every year there's a new group of students and they influence so much about me. They teach me every year and I get to teach them. And when my students move on, I always feel like they're still my students. And I'll see my kids at Bilo and they'll be working at the cash register, I see my students at Georgia Southern, I see my students all over and I still think of them as their little sixth grade, seventh grade or eighth grade self and I remember how awesome they were and I just keep encouraging them to continue to do well. I love all of them the same. 
I feel that Autumn Chicola should be the Cala County Teacher of the Year because she exemplifies the model teacher. She cares for her students in school and out of school. She cares for her students academically and socially. She is in constant communication with parents and she cares enough for her students that she can tell if something is bothering them. She tries all types of instructional strategies to educate all children and not just a select few. And these are reasons why I feel that Autumn should be the Cowley County Teacher of the Year. I love my job. I love what I do. Um, I think teaching is a calling. It's what I'm supposed to do. And um, I love getting up every morning and starting a brand new day and walking into my classroom and seeing what my students have for me. Um, I hope you feel very well time. I could have chosen any career, but what I really wanted to do is teach because teaching is who I am. I spent my summers um, helping my grandparents in their classroom, creating seating charts and decorating bulletin boards. And as a child, I taught my stuffed animals lessons in my, in my bedroom. And then as I got older, I just realized what effective teaching looked like. And I wanted to do the same thing. I wanted to make literature come alive in the classroom and share my passion for reading and writing with my students. And being a teacher, I get to do that every day. When I think about the students I've taught and interacted with throughout my career, many students stand out in my mind. I've shared some very unique experiences with all types of students. I'll never forget sharing the news in my classes when every student in there passed a George High School writing test or an EOCT. I'll always remember standing back and watching my students work as a team to create an extravagant 1920s Gatsby party scene in just an ordinary classroom. I'll always remember the pictures um, from our Washington DC trip and think back with a smile when I rewatch student videos of performances we have done. I love getting to know all my students and I love to know what their interests are. When they write about their experiences and share their goals, I love to see the sparkle in their eyes and hear the strength in their voices. I love meeting them on the first day and watching them perform on the field or the court or the stage. I become protective over them as if they are my own and I cherish the unique bonds I create with each individual. But what I love most is seeing them at graduation, accepting their diplomas and then when they share with me that they are on their way to achieving their dreams. Ms. Lewis brings literature to life for her students. She makes learning fun and relevant. Through her care and compassion, she has created a great rapport with her students. Ms. Lewis does a wonderful job of helping each student learn. She differentiates her lessons to help all students master content, but she does so without limiting access to knowledge. She pushes all of her students to learn at high levels. Ms. Lewis is also highly respected by her colleagues. She has led her department in a collaborative spirit to achieve at high levels. Ms. Lewis is creative, she's compassionate, and she's innovative. She is a master teacher, and she will be a great representative for our Cameron County School District. I plan to always be active in education as a classroom teacher, as a mentor, as a leader, as a friend, and as a mother. <laughs>